Right, in the workshop tonight, and uh, I've got two lights uh, either side. There's one, there's one that side as you're looking at, and one that side. So if you do catch them, you don't need them obviously. Those lighting are just there to make it a bit brighter for you. Any white wires you might see, there to the lighting. Um, got them on an extension. So ignore everything else. We just got to concentrate on the printer and on the CIS. The rest is just there to make things easy to see. We've got the uh, Pixma. MP150, it's the MP150 Canon, and we're going to sit, fit a CIS onto it. So let's see how to do it. Right, I've just hide the video a bit, uh, lift it up a bit because you couldn't see on the previous angle. Right, uh, the lid's up, the printer's on, and uh, because the lid's up, this will move freely here. Just move that clip out of the way, I'll show you about that in a minute. But that moves left to right freely. So we want it across to the left so we can put the uh, cartridges in and here are the cartridges they've got the green protective clips on so clip them off both of them and then they've got some blue protective tags as well so peel those off and while we're just peeling those off just let you know like in all my videos just let you know the ink on my hands is from remanufacturing cartridges it's not from this cis i've always got filthy hands because i'm always doing something with ink i want to wash them when i finish work at night time so we've got the cis here They've got the black on the left and the colour on the right. That's a new lid I've put on theirs. Yours will have a sticker on, but I've put a new lid on there because it was a bit dodgy. So we've got the black to the left, the colour to the right, and we put them into the carriage just as you normally would put any, any cartridges. So black, colour, colour clicked in, black clicked in. So we've got those clicked in and now we've got to look at where the piping goes. Right, so I could save some time on the video. Before I uh, started the video, I'd done a couple of clips. There's a clip there. It hinges like that. And you see this hand here? There's a hand showing you how to put the cartridges in. You want that clip underneath it, hinging this way, so we can clip the pipe under there. Then over here, on the left of the printer, we've got one hinging downwards there. That's... Um, on that little indented bit there on the left of the printer and then on the front of the printer I put another one here hinging up that's hinging up so we've got three clips in there was they would obviously be included in the kit and we've got to get the piping through those clips so that the printer works now it's pretty hard from this angle to show you how to do it without blocking it with my arms so we'll try anyway. We've got the cartridges in and we've got the piping come across to the right. Now you want it straight across so that there's no twists. Coming straight across from the cartridges like this. Like that there. You don't want any twists. And then you curl it back on itself and click it into there. That's clicked in and if you can see here the pipe is coming from the cartridges across to the right, curling up and through that clip coming back on itself. That's how you need it. And we've got to make sure that we get the right lens so it doesn't trap or anything. So now we move this by hand across. And we send it as far as it will possibly go. So we know the length of the piping that we need on the uh, CIS. I'll just get those twists out of it while I've been moving around it's uh, got twisted we've got those twists out so it's right across to the right so we know how much we need here so get that piping I'll do this I'll move my hand when I can now if you can see here just turn to the left here on the left we brought the piping out and we need it to stay up here we don't want it dropping under we need it to stay in there Clip it into that left clip there. Now you can see the piping's coming out of there, across to the left, and into this clip on the left hand side. Then bring it out the front, into that clip there, and just clip that one up. Now your piping is in place. We know it's the correct lens because the cartridges are still across to the right hand side. So really, we're not far off having the CIS running. Now I've got the uh, camera in my hand now, so it might be a little bit wobbly for a couple of minutes. 
the printer's been switched on so the cartridge will come across the left here because of uh, it's recognised them. Up here is a door catch. If you can look at this pen here that I've got in my hand and look where I'm pointing it, there is a black door catch just there at the end. If you can look, just there, I'm going to drop the pen and you can see the catch. The lid here comes down, pushes that catch down and makes it think it's closed. But so you can see it printing with the lid open so everything's okay, I'm going to put the pen in there and make the printer think the lid is down and immediately the cartridge go across to the right hand side so what we've got to do now is print and here we are with the print with the lid down now um, the reason I cut the video short is because we don't want a really long one people get fed up of it so I haven't obviously filmed the whole printing procedure from when the lid was down I've put the lid down I've made sure this piping was just in that crack there on the left. It fits perfectly, it doesn't trap it, the ink can get through easily. And you can now see the, uh, there you go, it's printed with the lid down. So, perfect printing at a low price. That's a Canon MP150, I'm pretty sure the MP210, 240 are the same as well. Just little, they've just got little extras on them that this one hasn't got. So that, that will do the uh, 150, 210 and 240 I'm pretty sure. Don't take any notice of that wire, that's just me lighting going across the extension. Now just one more thing before um, I end the video, there's your bottles. Now I put this much ink in to send them in so it doesn't go everywhere in the package but fill it up to about here. Make sure you take your small bungs out the top, leave the, small, the big ones in the bottom and put your air filters in each one. That lets air in, but won't let the ink come out if you just accidentally knock it. So don't ever let it run out. You never want to go less than 20 mil because if you get air in the system, it takes quite a bit of getting out. There will be uh, instructions on how to put the ink into these bottles included in the pack. So I think that's pretty much it. The CIS working on the Canon MP150. Save loads of money. Thanks for watching.